Hi, uh, my name is John Stewart. I'm Associate Dean for Cultural and Community Engagement in FIU's College of Communication, Architecture and the Arts. So the the core of the of the Miami Beach Urban Studios is a group of about a hundred students in music, art, and design who are here each semester. For art students, they are here with the galleries and with the museums, the Wolfsonian, the Bass, the Jewish Museum. This all kind of there's a, a cultural life here that that's hard to find on in Sweetwater and on the main campus. We have here uh, a Sea Level Solution Center and. Uh, that's been uh, helping us on projects, for example, relating to citizen scientists. So we're looking at things that we might be able to do in the design world in terms of 3D printing, um, say a clip that you'll put on your phone that will allow you to um, attach a, a refractometer. And the refractometer will, will allow you to see how saline or fresh the, a, a puddle is. So you'll know where the puddle's coming out of. You know, whether it's a rise from a sewer break or whether it's a rain event that just hasn't cleared up or whether it's a tidal event coming up. And the idea is to, um, is to increase the number of people who are looking, who have their eyes on the, eyes on the environment. And these could be kids uh, walking to school. And the idea is that they would be gathering this data, taking pictures of the puddles, taking refractometer readings of the puddles, and then putting those out into... Um, into a database. The 3D printing space can really help is the um, uh, enhancement of the human experience and we're particularly interested in the way it helps people who are visually impaired. So um, we have constructed a, a, a facade of, a, of the post office, the old post office downtown, as a tactile building model. So these are, f these, this is a model that has incredibly high level of detail so that somebody who can't see it can feel every brick, can feel Every lip in the f in the in the in the window, and can understand that they're walking through an archway, that they're going up, that the building's three stories tall. So all of this is building on the last part of this of this uh, this space, which are these individual faculty labs. Jacek is the chair of the art and art history department, and he is very interested in in mistakes and memory. So his one of his big projects is a series of black buildings, or some of them are red, that are all buildings he remembers as a child from Krakow, when he le where he left when he was about seven, I think. And he remembers these buildings, just some of them just from the inside, and he doesn't draw them by pencil or pen, he just draws them in three dimensions and prints them. So there's a very quick process between the thing he's remembering and the thing he's making. And the last thing that he that he does that I think is so interesting is he is he'll scrape off the printer. Sometimes the printers just stop printing. They'll just it'll be like a filament will get stuck or something will happen or and he'll scrape off the mistake and instead of throwing it away and he puts it in a frame and he puts a stamp on it, a red stamp, he puts a gold stamp, he signs it, and he holds it and puts it up on his wall. You have um, Jelpy Projects, which is Nick Jelpy's architectural laboratory. He's working on uh, projects uh, relating to new materials, building a new concrete material out of um, with wood chips instead of aggregates, stone aggregates, so Malaluka in the Everglades that's been mineralized and placed in the concrete. He's working on a park project uh, in Wynwood, and he's working together with the landscape architecture uh, laboratory here, which is Roberto Rivera's laboratory, where they're trying to kind of figure out how the when native plants flower, what colors of the flower, what are the butterflies that come to those to those plants to feed on those plants, and so kind of understanding a kind of science and a taxonomy of these ecosystems, so we're all kind of able to able to put them together. Now the landscape forms a very important part of Eric Goldenberg's uh, work, and he is the his office and his research laboratory focuses on creating new musical instruments out of things that are relating to the to the environment, to the mangroves, to the strangler figs, to these kind of organic figures that we have. And he's interested in the relationship then between the body and these these musical instruments and space itself.